Hi students! We're going to have a fun lesson today. Have you ever wondered how models and actresses get such beautiful flawless skin in those photographs in magazines? Well, this is the true Angelina Jolie. Unedited, unphotoshopped, and we're going to make her look more rested, look like her skin is um, a little bit more radiant. She does have several kids, that is, and uh, we want to make her look glowing and fresh and rested. So what we're going to do is we're going to work with three different tools today. We're going to work with the healing brush, the patch tool, and the comb tool. We're going to go ahead and start with the patch tool. The patch tool is a wonderful tool that gets rid of dark circles, wrinkles, larger areas that you're trying to just make disappear. So how this works is <clears throat> if I want to get rid of this um, bit of tiredness around her eyes, I'm going to take my mouse and just draw a circle around the part that I don't want. And it'll create a selection. And you move your cursor inside of that selection and just bring it down to the clear area. You can take blemishes and pull them out and discoloration as well. She's getting up there in age so let's go ahead and get rid of her wrinkles for her. So I'm going to circle the wrinkle, move it over to the side and command D to get rid of that selection. Do the same on the other side. that to the side, command D. There, she's always already looking better. Okay, let's get rid of some sun damage up here. And you want to move it as close without um, overlapping the original um, area that you're trying to get rid of just so you're uh, maintaining that same color. Okay. Now we're going to move on to the healing brush. You don't want to get mixed up with the spot healing brush. It's the one that doesn't have the little circle on it. Now how this one works is you're going to take your brush and make it a little bit bigger than the blemish. So I just hit my bracket keys there. Then I'm going to move it over to a clear part of skin, hold down Alt, click with your mouse, and then click over the blemish. It's like it never existed. We'll do the same here. Alt, click, click. Alt, click, click. Alt, click, click. And you can play around with different brush sizes, but you always want to continue to Alt, click because every area of the skin is a different color. You'll see how many times I'm all clicking. And then we'll just fix up the patch tool here. Skin tone is a little bit more even. A little bit of dark skin there, so let's get rid of that. And let's go ahead and go back to the patch tool, smooth out her neck a little bit. And I bet you thought Angelina Jolie was this perfect, flawless person. Well, not the case. Photoshop makes people look that way. Now for the clone tool. The clone tool works very similar to the healing brush, but the difference is that the healing brush will actually modify the edges of the area that you're trying to heal, where the clone stamp will not do that. It'll actually take a total snapshot of what you're trying to clone. For example, if I'm on the clone tool, I could actually make another eye on her forehead if I wanted. If I'm on the healing brush, 
it's going to heal the edges. Okay, so you're going to get kind of a faint look, um, and it's not going to blend into the skin, or it is going to blend into the skin, unlike the clone tool. So we're going to use the clone tool with a very low opacity to kind of smooth out the skin. So I'm going to turn that opacity down in the 20s. And I'm going to um, Alt-click, and I'm just going to kind of even out the skin tone very slightly. We're not going to use this a whole lot. I'll turn that down a little bit more. Okay. And then you could do things like you could get rid of that hair on her face. The more you start to um, clear up, the more flaws you'll start to see. So things will just really start to stand out. So I can do this the same way I did with the blemishes, alt clicking all the way up. And so you've gone from this to this. Still looks like Angelina, just a little bit more rested. Looks like she had a spa. Hope you enjoyed that. Take care. Bye.